What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class, I'm going to show you guys how to use the if else statement. So let's get started. Now in my last video, I showed you guys how to use the if statement. In this video, I'll show you how to use the if and else statement. I'm going to start off by declaring a variable. I'm going to use the integer. So I'm going to type in int. I'm going to call my variable red. And I want to make my variable equal to 5. Just like in our last tutorial. Now we're going to start the if statement. To start the if statement, again, we have to type in if, right? Hit space, open and close parentheses, hit space, open curly brace, hit enter a few times, and a uh, closing curly brace. Once you hit enter, it should automatically enter the closing curly brace. But just to make sure, you want to count your open and make sure it corresponds with your close. So I have one open, two open, three open. I should have three closes. So it's one, two, three, so they match. So this is an if statement here. This is a structure of an if statement. So we started off by typing in if, space, open and close parentheses, space. We have this open curly brace. We hit enter a few times, we, add, we added this closing curly brace. Now in between this open and closing curly brace here, we type in uh, what we want uh, this to do. But first we have to add some conditions. We have to test some conditions here. So I'm gonna say red here, right? I'm gonna test whether or not red is equal and we have to use double equal signs because we're testing conditions. We're not assigning value. If we use one equal sign, then we're assigning value. So again, we're going to use two equal symbols. I want to test whether or not uh, red is equal to 5, which it is. So if red equals 5, then it's going to print this out here. The system, oops, I'm sorry, capital S, Y, S, T, E, M, dot out, dot print, ln, open and close parentheses, and then with a semicolon because it is a statement. We want to print out yes, right? Just in our, just like in our last tutorial. So we're going to print out yes. So if, if not, then it's not going to do anything. So let's test it out. I'm going to hit play here. And it, and it worked. It printed out yes because our conditions were met. But let's say uh, if our conditions are not met, what if we wanted to do something else? So we can. We can use an if statement for that. Now, to add an if statement, we have to add it under here. Under uh, the last uh, closing curly brace of the if statement, we add else. We just type in E-L-S-E, -E, right? We use this open curly brace here. And uh, just, like the, just like the if statement, we add a closing curly brace. So we hit enter. If we use Eclipse, once you hit enter, it should enter. It should add one closing curly brace for you, but you just count it just to make sure. Again, we have one, two, three, four open. We should have four closing. So we have one, two, three, four close in here. So just to make sure, it's good programming practice to just to make sure so your program runs smoothly. So and again, just like the if statement here. So basically, just in case the conditions don't meet here in the if statement, it's going to do whatever is in the else statement. So we can have it print something else out, or you can have it do whatever you want. So I'm going to type in this system, dot out, dot print, ln, open a close parentheses, and then it with semicolon. I want to have it print out no this time, All right? And o, well, make it capital N, lowercase so. No, so. Once I hit play, uh, it should print out yes, because remember, red is equal to 5, so it should automatically print yes. So let's hit play again, and it printed out yes. But let's make red 4, so it prints out no. So I'm going to hit play, and it printed out no. Again, we started from the top. We declared a variable, which I called red, and I made the variable equal to now 4, right? So we, we started off with this if statement. We type in if, hit space, open and close parentheses, hit space, open and curly brace, hit enter. A few times, closing curly brace. That's the structure of an if statement here. This is an if statement. If, open and close parentheses, hit space, open curly brace, closing curly brace. This is an if statement. And in between the open and close parentheses, we type in the conditions we want to test. And we tested whether or not red is equal to 5, right? So if red is equal to 5, it's going to do whatever in here, inside this open and close curly brace of this if statement, right? So if red is not equal to 5, then it's going to jump to this else statement here. And it's going to do whatever inside this else statement. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So if you like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.